Buona domenica Juventini, enjoy your Sunday Juventini, whoever you are with, whatever you are doing and whoever you are in the world, enjoy one of the last Sundays without football, because we know it, from the moment that the season starts, it's again the same, pre-game, the game itself, the post-game, how time-consuming it is, how many time does it take from your Sunday, and then also, of course, your mood is influenced, are we doing bad, well... You are thinking already about that grey Monday that is arriving. Are we doing well? Of course, you are happy. You are dancing with the family, with your friends, whatever you are doing. So try to enjoy it and also try to enjoy this video. This video that because it's Sunday, because we have a bit more time, we'll try to record it in a different way. In a relaxed, low pace mode. Something that I'm absolutely not used to do. Why? For two reasons. The first one, I'm scared every time because we have so many things to speak about that the video really starts to be, you know, like a, a box office movie of 1.30 or two hours long, and that's not what we want. And then because I have also the feeling that when I'm speaking a bit slower in English, I'm even making more mistakes, or at least I have the time to know and to listen to what I'm saying, and then I realize that I'm making more mistakes. Anyway, I take my coffee and then I tell you what we will speak about, because there are really important topics to speak about. Ciao Juventini of the world, my name is Giuseppe, welcome back on the channel. We'll speak about three big huge topics. The first one, yesterday, beautiful news, we saw our boys playing football again with the ball. We already saw the first goal in a training session, Juventus against Juventus. But what are the lessons that we are taking from that? And some are really important. Then we'll speak of course about the new name that has been linked for Juventus midfield, Franck Kessier, attention, because it's a concrete name, Lukaku always Lukaku, because apparently there is even a possible contract offer for Lukaku with total different numbers as the one that we were reported yesterday. And then I want to speak about the things that I'm reading online at the moment, about Lukaku, about Allegri, about Giuntoli. I believe personally that we are all exaggerating a bit. The things are going a bit out of control. And I want to share my opinion about that. That will be towards three quarter of the video towards the end of the video. So let's start first with the, the first two teams that has been put on the field by Allegri. You can see the image here, 22 players to start with, Chesney from one side with a green kit and Perin that unveiled or that showed yesterday the second goalkeeper kit. Actually, no, the second is the green because the first one is blue and the third one is red with the yellow numbers. Perin in the other side. 3-5-2 for both teams. There were some players that were missing, like Danilo, Moiskin, De Ciglio, Pogba, Leonardo Bonucci that didn't arrive, Chiesa, and so on and so on. But from the players that were available to play, we see that the two teams were put with a 3-5-2. Alexandre Bremer and De Winter in front of Chesney. Ranocchia, Locatelli, Locatelli as a regista, and Sersanti in the midfield. Kostic and uh, Barbieri left and right, and then up front Milik and Vlaovic, two that at the moment are the starter of Juventus in that 3-5-2. On the other side, in front of Perin, we saw Gatti, Rugani, Heisen, and then we saw in the midfield Nicolussi, Barrenecea as a regista, Yildiz there as a mezzala on the left, attenzione, Sule on the right, Ealing Jr. on the left, Mancini and Cherry as two strikers. What are the news that we can take from these lineups? First of all, at the moment, clearly we go towards three men defense, something that a lot of supporters, including myself, were not really hot towards. We didn't want to go towards that 352 again. But the thing is that at the moment we can't play with four men because we don't have left backs, because we don't have right backs, because we have the problem to play with a four man defense. So three man defense is at the moment what the best that we can offer. Then, again, I tell you, I don't have that much a problem with a three-man defense if the idea of football is more offensive. And who are these guys that need to give that offensivity? Well, it's Wea that will come back and will play on the right side of the field. It is Kostic, it is an Ealing Jr. In that case, it was Sule, even if I don't believe that Sule will stay with Juve. But that's the idea of playing a real 3-5-2 and not a 5-3-1-1, what we saw last season. So that's the first lesson. The second surprise, we have to say, is that in the black and white home kit, we saw a Yildiz that was impressing all of them. By the way, the first week, Yildiz 
Huizen and the winter really impressed Allegri and the technical staff that yield this was tested yesterday as a mezzala. Will that be his definite role? I don't believe so, also because we have so many midfielders already, but he was tested there and even in that position he did really really well. The winter, other surprise, tested with, let's say, the a bit more older players or the bit more starting players like Bremer, like Locatelli, Milik, Vlaovic, Chesney. Well, the winter was tested there on the right side of that three-man defense, next to Bremer. Attenzione, the winter is slowly but surely increasing in that hierarchy. I already revealed you, I don't know if it was recorded or in life, that the winter could be one of the players that can go with the team in USA. Attenzione for the winter. Then, of course, we saw that grinta of uh, Federico Gatti that was still there. Gatti pushing Milik going and I, I really believe that Gatti was pushed also or placed in the second team for a simple reason. Not because he's a sub, but to let him play against a uh, Vlahovic, against a uh, Milik and he was doing really well, impressing all the youth that were there on the field. Then it was 1-1 the score, the first goal in training session has been scored by Dusan Vlahovic. Will it be his last one and then go to Paris Saint-Germain? We don't know. Will he be Will it be the first one of a long series of goals this season? At the moment, we don't know. And then the other goal for the black and white on the field was scored by Ealing Jr., a guy that we all believe in and that, yes, he loves to score. So beautiful surprises yesterday. We also saw some great, fantastic Juve feeling there uh, with Ravanelli that came to say hello. Ravanelli that... Uh, maybe you know maybe you don't know you all know he was an ex-player of Juve but also him since a kid a Juventino speaking with Paul Pogba yesterday but then some beautiful images of a uh, President Ferrero next to Giuntoli the new chief of football next to Capitano Danilo and he's now the real captain of Juventus and Fagioli all of them speaking to each other why am I saying beautiful Juventus an important image because these people are all Juventini Ferrero big supporter of Juve. Giuntoli, he said it himself, huge supporter of Juve. Fagioli, do we have to repeat that he's a fantastic Juventino? And then an adopted Juventino, that is Danilo, that I will never forget and I always repeat, signed the extension of his contract without knowing what the future of Juve would have been. Could have been worst case scenario that they would have sent us in Serie B. He didn't care. And that's something that I will always appreciate. So beautiful picture. Now, Let's go to the second part of the video. Corriere dello Sport. We sing Via Libera. Green light for Lukaku. Lukaku, Inter is taking themselves out of the race. Now there is only Juventus on him. Why? Because Saudi Arabia was refused by Lukaku. Now, Big Rom going to Allegri. The contract is ready. But first, Vlaovic needs to go to Paris Saint-Germain. To Chelsea, 40 million euro. We already reported you how it has been built that offer. 37.5 plus 2.5 of bonuses. And then for Lukaku, all the huge numbers from the past days were actually a bit reviewed. Reviewed in a decreasing mode. Because from the 12 million euro net, what I heard yesterday, we go towards 8 million net, net for three years, which is much lower. Of course! It's still huge. Of course, that's one of the, if not the biggest salary next to Paul Pogba of Juventus 23-24. Huge, but much better than what we were hearing in the beginning. Because 12 million, 11 million was absolutely something totally out of this world. And that's why I was still hesitant about, is the offer really... Is it really a smart offer? Because 11 million for Lukaku, with all the respect, attenzione. Now... Speaking about Lukaku, the last few days we already, we already spoke about Lukaku a lot. And you know that I am not in favor of Romelu Lukaku to Juve, okay? I am not. I don't want to see Romelu Lukaku to Juventus. It's a player that is not convincing me in terms of the technical qualities, in terms of some behaviors that we saw through his career from Chelsea to Inter, from Inter to Chelsea, from uh, Manchester United to Inter, from Anderlecht to another team, to uh, whatever. We know the story of Lukaku, we are not here to report. So in terms of behaviors, in terms of the age, 30, in terms of being a player that we can't resell, in terms also of the memes that we saw online about him, 
making sure that uh, Inter was losing that Europa League against Sevilla. We all remember these images of Lukaku, but we all also remember the more recent ones, the one where, in a way, he made Inter lose that Champions League. And these are a lot of reasons why I don't want Romelu Lukaku at Juve. But I believe that we are exaggerating now. Because when I'm watching what people are making out of it, I think that we are not correct. Because Gazzetta dello Sport, but also Nicolo Schira, and then all the supporters, they are pointing the fingers not against Lukaku, not against Juventus, not against Giuntoli, but again, always the same person. Massimiliano Allegri, Max il manovratore, Max that is at the maneuver, the double page in Gazzetta dello Sport. Nicolo Schira yesterday said, ideas from Allegri, he's pushing because Giuntoli wanted someone else. Basta, stop. With all the respect, we know that Lukaku is a player that will work better with Allegri than Dusan Vlaovic. We know it. We know that Max loves this kind of physical, strong players that can protect the ball up front so that the team is going higher so that Max Allegri wants Lukaku I have absolutely no doubt about that as he wanted Sergei Milinkovic Savic to create that physical muscular midfield absolutely no doubt that Max Allegri asked to Giuntoli to go and to try for Lukaku I have absolutely no doubt about that but on the other side if you have a Giuntoli that I believe that it will do fantastically that is the right person in the right role if Giuntoli doesn't want to, if Giuntoli believes that it makes totally no sense, like all the supporters are thinking today, that it's out of the world, that it makes no sense, that it's a disaster, what are we doing, Finnish club? Giuntoli will not go and contact Chelsea, contact the agent of Lukaku, speaking with Antonio Conte to have more information about the person Romelu Lukaku. So I want to say that at the moment, we are all exaggerating a bit because if there is a share of responsibility on Max Allegri, I don't know if you know the structure that we spoke about a few days ago, Max Allegri is not doing the Mercato at Juve. Max Allegri is not the president of Juventus. Max Allegri is not using his wallet to sign players and to negotiate with players. The ones that are traveling to London to speak with the English clubs are Giuntoli, that apparently went secretly there between Wednesday and Thursday, Manna, Tognozzi, you have an approval approval of Scannavino, of uh, Calvo, of all these player, people involved, but not Max Allegri, that is there, of course, to give his opinion. Of course, he can say, I would love, if Vlaovic leaves, to have a player with these kind of characteristics. But then, Lukaku is a name decided by Juventus. So we have to stop now with, it's Allegri, it's Allegri, it's Allegri. Because if we continue like that, ragazzi, if we continue like that, it will be so toxic, even more toxic. We are starting with a lot of toxicity. Then I told you, I don't want Lukaku at Juventus. I don't want Lukaku at Juventus. Then if he will come, I will welcome him like I welcome every single player of Juventus. And I will wish him the best. But ragazzi, are we not exaggerating a bit? Because if Giuntoli, and it's as simple as that, if Giuntoli doesn't want Lukaku, as simple as that, he doesn't sign Lukaku. As simple as that. Then, I already spoke about the financial part, about everything in the uh, in the past few videos. I don't want to repeat, but at the moment, that's the story. Now, there is another player that apparently Max Allegri is loving, and it is Franck Kessier. Franck Kessier, that according to some papers, that according to Fabrizio Romano, Juventus wants to again start going on him. He was already linked when he was at Milan to Juve, but again they want to start because he's the ideal player in the game of Juventus for next season. He's a top target for the midfield and Juventus wants to understand if there is a possibility for them to go with him on loan. I told you a few days ago, I was thinking he was 30. Actually, he's 26. He did fantastically well at Milan. When he left Milan, we know how much Milan decreased in that performance in the midfield. Is he a player that can reinforce that midfield? It could be. Of course, we don't know what will happen with Paul Pogba. Of course, I know that you will tell me, we need a left back, we need a right back. That's the players that we need. Even maybe more, two left backs and two right backs. And I agree with you. Maybe today, Kessier is not the priority. But can it be a good opportunity? I think yes. Going back to Lukaku, if Lukaku doesn't work, because we know that we are waiting for Dusan Vlaovic to agree with Paris Saint-Germain, 
there could be even an offer from Paris Saint-Germain including bonuses that can reach 90 million euro if all of this goes well but Lukaku last minute is changing decision there are other players again in that list Morata sfida Lukaku challenge challenge between Morata and Lukaku because Morata is back on the list Morata is back on the list and since that news came out yesterday evening a lot of you started we don't want Lukaku we want Morata we want Morata we want Morata we want Morata Morata miles ahead of Lukaku Morata much better than Lukaku you know how much I love Morata by the way uh, coincidence or not the shirt of Morata is just here I love I love Alvaro fantastic person fantastic even Juventino if you want to say but ragazzi it's two different roles Morata played like six months in that role while we were waiting for Vlaovic that arrived in January it was a total disaster we Allegri publicly defended him every single week because all the supporters were criticizing him I think sometimes we are having like a loss of memories like Pirlo every single day it was Pirlo out Pirlo out Pirlo out Pirlo out after a year of Allegri eh but we had to keep Pirlo now Morata out Morata finish player Morata can't score Morata is a disaster and now we want Morata back because it's much better than Lukaku ragazzi if you go really fast you know how many games and goals both of the players did in Serie A? Morata, 130, 130 games with Juventus in Serie A, 35 goals. Lukaku, 97. That's 33 games less, he scored 57. That's more than 20, that's 22 goals more. That's an average per game of 0.59 for Lukaku, 0.27 for Morata. Ragazzi, I want, I know you don't like uh, Lukaku. I told you I prefer not having Lukaku. But now to say that Lukaku is a clown, is a disaster, is the worst player on earth. That's Morata in that position, in that position is better than Lukaku. I believe again that we are all exaggerating a bit. Anyway, what are the other names in CDEF plan? We have, of course, Jonathan David, but that's a tough one because we know that Lille will request a lot of money. There is Okafor, Okafor that some people told me, Beppe, there are serious talks with Okafor, Scamacca, there is Beto, there is possibly Balogun, but also for Balogun, 40 million euro is the request from Arsenal. And now Inter that dropped away from Morata. Uh, from Lukaku or really want to go all in for Balogun. Will it happen? I don't know. I told you about Kessier. I told you about Lukaku. How could possibly Juventus 23-24 start against Udinese with that lineup? Chesney to the goal, Danilo, Bremer, Gatti. In the midfield, Rabiot, Locatelli, Franck Kessier, Kostic on the left, Wea on the right, Chiesa and Lukaku up front. I don't know if that will happen because Mercato still need to start and I told you in August will be the real hot month for Juventus for entries I think that that lineup can do something in Serie A on the other side what I don't like with that lineup it's again it's a real counter-attack team real counter-attack team that is missing a lot of creativity and I'm scared that even with the velocity of Wea even if Kostic is there on the left I think that that team is a bit missing some creativity a bit too much so solid yes can potentially even compete to win Serie A but not much more than that that's my opinion about the team that we see here then I wanted to finish the video of this Sunday together with you with uh, Gazzetta dello Sport that is starting to change jacket now double face of Gazzetta that I promise you for 360 days Lukaku was the king, the best player on earth every single time on the first page with huge images. Today they are doing it again, but attention to the narrative. That's the fun part of the video. Inter, my più Lukaku. Inter, Lukaku, never again. They are changing the things as if it's Inter that is now giving up on Lukaku, as if Inter, they don't want him and they are trying to say that Lukaku is a betrayer, is a traitor. Of course. It's not funny from Lukaku how he's handling the situation if you are an Interista. But now maybe we are exaggerating a bit because here we go. Eh? L'Inter lo scarica. Inter doesn't want him. Juventus wants him. That's the title in Gazzetta dello Sport with the X 
on Lukaku Inter with a question mark on Juventus Lukaku. But then they are even going with the backstage story with in Inzaghi, Romelu, a love that never happened, a love that was never born, with the Thunders that usually they are keeping for Juventus, this time the Thunders are on Lukaku and Inzaghi. So they are going with a narrative today that actually didn't really work between Inzaghi, Lukaku, it was not really the best choice. Inter, they were thinking about him, but maybe now they don't want him anymore. And because they don't want him anymore, it's Juventus on the player. Ragazzi. Pay attention how they are telling you a story. Hey, in two weeks, if really it happens, they will never speak about Lukaku. And when they will speak, it will be about some really off the field from, eh, hey, but one day, do you remember the parents of Lukaku did the disaster? Pay attention. Expect the worst. Expect the worst. So let me know if that video was fun to listen to in a slow mood pace. It's still 20 minutes, so we were in timing. Grazie ragazzi, forza. You fat.